adult beverages without the buzz. Between August 2021 and 2022, $395 million in non-alcoholic beer, wine, and spirits were sold in the U.S., up 20% from the prior year. In the market overall, there's probably north of 2,000 uh, types of products. Pat Dooling is founder of Dre Drinks, a bottle shop in Boston South End, where all the beverages are alcohol-free. Dre, for me, was born more of a personal choice. I quit drinking about two and a half years ago and was kind of thinking about a career change anyway, but it was such a powerful change in my life and so positive and impactful in ways I didn't even think about before that I felt like I've got to share this with people. Dre refers to an old horse-drawn wagon that would deliver goods, including alcohol. It's such a great concept when you flip it on its head. And so our utilization of the meaning is more being on the wagon. Dre also sounds a lot like dry, which works pretty well. Dooling and his team have sampled and selected a collection of more than 300 non-alcoholic beers, wines, and spirits. We're gonna make a, a non-alcoholic Manhattan cocktail. With the spirits in particular, they haven't gotten to the point, I would say, where you can sip them neat, but they're great for cocktails and cocktailing culture and non-alcoholic is huge. Many of the people we spoke with who live alcohol-free say that being relegated to the kids' drink menu can feel isolating. It's such a powerful thing for people to feel a part of in a group. You replace an alternative drink with something that looks exactly like what everyone else is drinking. It makes not drinking feel like it could become more the norm. But like sobriety support groups, one size does not fit all. Non-alcoholic beverages are not necessarily suitable for everyone in recovery. I would never recommend someone in the early days of their sobriety walking through our doors and picking up something that looked exactly like what they were just drinking. Getting sober here in the city was really hard, being that we're just, just such like an alcohol forward city. Camila de la Vega Maldonado has been substance free for eight years and was a Dre customer before she joined the team. Having accessibility to non-alcoholic options, this new information, this new access, changes the course of my family, right? Changes the course of generations after me. In the true spirit of inclusion, these zero-proof options are not just for people in recovery. Probably 90% of the people that shop here still consume some alcohol, but they're changing their habits in subtle ways. People are making the choice to not drink for a bunch of different reasons. Maybe it's you know, forever, but maybe it's for a day, a week, a month, you name it. Inside Dre are cans of the best-selling non-alcoholic beer in the U.S., brewed right here in New England. It kind of starts with Bill, and his premise early on was if somebody could make a non-alcoholic beer taste great they, with the existing processes, they probably would have already. It just seemed like a huge unmet need in the world. John Walker and Bill Schufelt are founders of Athletic Brewing Company, headquartered in Milford, Connecticut. I stopped drinking about 10 plus years ago for just healthy lifestyle reasons. I just really missed a great beer and I couldn't believe how bad the options were. With absolutely no brewing experience of his own, the former Wall Street trader quit his job, then convinced Walker, an award-winning craft brewer, to move across the country and they got to work. His desire and passion to kind of change the way people thought about drinking was really exciting. It kind of shocked me that nobody had thought to innovate in this space. Our Run Wild IPA, this is the blue one as some people refer to it, <laughs> 65 calories and really what this is is just a totally timeless IPA. It's funny you say the blue one because that's what I always say because this is the one that I get. Yeah. And to me this was a revelation. I would never experienced anything like that yeah. that was non-alcoholic obviously. There are dozens more brews, golden ales, light beers and sours. Since its 2017 inception, Athletic has launched about 50 new varieties a year. We want people just to be able to make whatever choice they want, feel comfortable in any environment, have no stigma to choose not to consume alcohol or consume alcohol. Athletic was at the helm of a real sea change in the industry. And soon enough, dozens more breweries were jumping on board. There's now over 100 brands in the country in non-alcoholic beer where there were probably less than 10 when we started. Thinking about 20 years from now, my son goes into a bar and he just turns 21, and it won't be that big of an event because he will have grown up in a more socially aware and responsible drinking culture. I look forward to that. 
but it's been amazing to be part of. Uh, Athletic Brewing is available at most grocery stores and at Whole Foods Foods. It is their number one selling beer in mm. both alcoholic and non-alcoholic yeah. categories. That tells you something. And back to Dre Drinks, owner Pat Dooling says things are going so well there that he's actually already looking to expand into other cities to build on that success and that demand. All right. Still ahead, anchor Hank Azaria is paying it forward.